Destiny. To my subscribers, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And to the newbies, please make sure you hit that notification button and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss any other videos from me. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat your own face for prom. I plan on making this a series because I want to do more prom looks. So comment down below on what prom look you want to see me do next. So I have something really exciting to tell you guys. First and foremost, thank you to everyone that has supported me for all these years of me just making makeup tutorials and teaching you guys how to beat your face. Thank you so much for watching my videos consistently. I really appreciate it. Your comments and your likes never go unnoticed. Thank you so much. So on my platform, I've always wanted to do more and doing more by doing more giveaways, um, just giving back to the community and all of that stuff. So I decided to make a Patreon account and on this account I plan on doing more makeup tutorials, teaching lessons for beginners. There will be exclusive giveaways on my Patreon account. If you click on the link below you will see what I plan to offer. And don't worry guys, I will still be doing makeup tutorials on here. That will not change. This is just another account that I'm going to be doing more makeup tutorials on. So if you want to sign up just click the link in the description box or in the comments. And and you can go ahead and sign up there. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into the makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. The first step that I take is I prime my face. I like to use a primer that fills in my pores as well as smooths out my skin. I'm using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. It's my favorite. It keeps my makeup on all day. So you definitely want to use a primer. I'm going to go in and conceal the darker areas on my face. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I believe it's and C45 I'm not sure I'll have everything in the description box I like to go over those areas first because then when I go in with my foundation I don't use as much of it so now I'm using the Lancome tint idol ultra foundation and I'm pumping that on my brush and then placing it on my face I'm just pouncing it all over and patting it into my skin just going around my face no particular pattern or motion or anything like that but I'm just patting it into my skin personally for me I like to use a brush for this step instead of a beauty blender because it just gives me more of that full coverage look I just pounce that foundation in until everything looks pretty even just making sure that there are no streaks or patches or anything like that now I'm going in with my ABH soft brown dip brow pomade I'm using a soft brown color I usually use ebony first but I've been doing this lately and I really like it I'm taking a angled brush and I'm using that soft brown color to go into my brows first I am just going along my arch and then going along the top part of my arch so I go on the bottom first then on the top and then I go in and fill it in just like that and make sure you have a nice flat angled brush then I go in with my ebony dip brow by Anastasia and I go towards the front of my brow with the brush and I'm just drawing a line where I want my brows to start because I don't have a lot of brow hair towards the beginning part of my eyebrow if that makes sense so I have to kind of fake it till I make it <laughs> so I just put some brow hairs right in the front kind of flicking it upwards and it makes it look like I have brow hair right there so just filling that in very softly and gently. Next, I'm gonna pop in my contacts. You guys always ask me about my contacts, but I never show you how I put them in. So these are my Desio contacts in Delicious Honey. I'm just popping these in. I usually do it around this step so that, I don't know. I don't know why I do it around that step, but whatever. <laughs> now we're going in with my LA Pro Concealer and I'm just gonna draw a line with the applicator right underneath my brow that I drew. And then I put a little bit, well, a lot of it on my lid. And this is just gonna act as my eyeshadow base. And I'm gonna use a flat brush, like a flat eyeshadow brush, and just pat that concealer in. Then I'm taking this MAC Synthetic Flat Eyeshadow Brush, and I'm just carving out my eyebrows, as well as just making sure that concealer is nice and even and spread out so there's no patches or anything like that. Um, you wanna make sure that your base is kind of thick, but not too thick, and it's spread out evenly. So that's what I'm doing right here. Now I'm going in with a light brown color and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm going to use a fluffy 
blending brush and I'm gonna place that right below my brow bone and bring it in towards my nose and flick it out towards my temple as well and I'm just blending that color out just making sure that there are no harsh lines or anything like that then I'm going in with this warm brown shade and I'm going one notch down a little bit further than where we just put that other color and I'm doing the same thing just looking at it and making sure that there are no harsh lines then I go in with this darker warm brown shade I go one notch closer to my eye and I'm using a pinched 217 MAC eyeshadow brush and I'm putting that right it's like right in my crease area so I'm pressing that in there and blending it out I'm gonna take my Inglot 77 gel eyeliner this is a gel liner and I'm putting this on my lid as my base for my eyeshadow so that the black looks really dark and dark <laughs> so I'm just patting that on my lid you can use any kind of brush as long as it's small um, just kind of make that circular or that um, yeah like that kind of circular shape um, on your eye and just pat it out gradually bringing some of the gel liner towards your crease so that's what I'm doing then I'm taking that Mac 217 brush again and just blending out that black color be very careful with black because it can get everywhere I literally almost messed up as well but uh, just be careful with black it can really get really messy and you can mess up kind of easily if you're not too cautious so just take your time and blend it's gonna take a while but just blend um, upwards towards your brow do not bring the black too far up because then it looks crazy just keep it more towards your crease area now I'm going in with my bold face lashes and go big or go home we're gonna apply those but first I always curl my lashes with an eyelash curler and then I go in with some mascara I do this because it makes my eyelashes my real lashes mesh very well with the falsies so I always do that before I put my lashes on so that you know it looks like I have one pair of eyelashes instead of you know I have two separate you you know what I'm talking about <laughs> So yeah, I just like to do it that way. It just, I don't know, trial and error, it works. Now we're going to move on to highlighting the face. I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and I'm going to use this to cover up any darkness underneath my eyes as well as highlight the face a little bit. And I'm just doing like upside down, is that upside down triangle? Yeah, upside down triangles just underneath my eyes, keeping the concealer towards the center of my face. So I'm going to put some of the concealer on the top of my lip as well as on my chin and down the bridge of my nose as well this is just gonna bring forth the things that I want to stand out and I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead she has a big forehead okay so I'm just putting a little bit in the center and then I'm taking my damp beauty blender and blending that concealer out you want to make sure that your beauty blender is a little bit damp so run it under the water run your beauty blender under the water and squeeze out the water um, as best you can and then that's when you know it's damp enough. You don't want it to be dry. You don't want it to be too wet. So, you know, just a quick tip. <laughs> so I'm just going ahead and blending that concealer out. Um, honestly, when I was looking in the mirror, I was like, I don't think this is bright enough. So I'm going to add some of my LA Pro Concealer that we use on our lids. I feel like with a dark eye, you need your highlight or your under eye concealer in like the center of your face to pop a little bit more, especially if you're going for a dramatic kind of special event type of look I just like my my under eye highlight to be a little bit more popping you know what I mean <laughs> so uh, it just needs to be a little bit lighter for me and now I'm going in and I'm gonna bake with my Laura Mercier powder I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender to bake underneath the eye now if you want your concealer underneath your eye and your concealer everywhere you know that you put on your face to last all day I would highly suggest baking even if it's for 15 seconds um, and then sweeping it away with a powder that you like so I'm gonna go ahead and bake for like 20 seconds and then I am going to sweep it away with some powder I like to go in on every place that I put concealer at so 
you know, in the center of my face. Then I use my MAC MSF in a fluffy angled brush to sweep away that baking powder. I swear this makes a world of difference. If you hate baking, try doing it this way. I promise you, your photos will come out fire. Um, you will love your makeup in person. It just looks so good. MAC MSF just makes everything look better. <laughs> so I'm just brushing my baking powder away with that. It just looks so creamy and smooth. It's just so good. Next, since our face needs a little bit more color added to it, I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer that I've tried, and I'm gonna use my fluffy angled brush from MAC, and I'm gonna place that in the hollows of my cheeks right below my cheekbones just to make them pop a little bit more and just warm up my face because we lost a lot of color by highlighting and all that so I'm just placing that in the hollows of my cheeks I'm also going along my temples and on my forehead because I have a five head <laughs> but it's okay <laughs> so we're just gonna go along my hairline as well and just kind of blending that out to make it to make my face look more sun-kissed and you know bring the color back and I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit with that same brush just pinching it making it a little bit flat and easier to get along the sides of my nose and then I'm gonna go on the bottom portion of my jawline as well as below my chin and blending that out now I'm taking a darker cool contour color and I'm using that same brush and just deepening my contour a little bit more now adding the bronzer for me first First, it helps a lot with my contour um, because it doesn't make it look muddy have you ever used a contour shade that looks super muddy on you try using a transition shade first and then a deeper contour now I'm going in with my Rimmel scandal eyes eyeliner I'm gonna place this eyeliner right on my waterline this eyeliner is so easy to work with it glides right on the waterline super easily and smoothly and it's from the drugstore so that's a plus <laughs> I'm just gonna put that in my waterline so now we're gonna move back to the eyes we're gonna replicate exactly what we did on the top I'm gonna take that lighter brown shade and go along the bottom portion of my lash line first then we're going in with that warm brown shade taking a fluffy domed brush and just going in on the bottom portion of my lash line just to smoke it out a little bit and give my eyes a little bit more depth now I'm going in with the black shade I think there was like makeup remover on it uh, the black shade and just going in and smoking that out as well we're doing the same thing to the bottom lash line that we did to the top of our lid so I'm just going in and smoking that out next we're moving on to highlighting my favorite part I'm gonna use my glow kit the sun dip glow kit I'm gonna actually make my own fan brush <laughs> as you can see I just put a bobby pin around it and made it a smaller fan brush because I don't own one and I don't even know why I don't own one but anyways um, <laughs> I'm just gonna put this along my cheekbones so the highest points of my face is where you want to highlight i put it right above my contour i didn't use blush today so um, i'm putting that right above my contour um, on my chin my upper lip i love 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 putting highlight on my brow bone right there it just makes everything come together and then i'm going to use some mascara put some mascara on the bottom lashes now i'm going to go in with my mac Fix Plus in gold light. This has gold glitter flakes in it. I'm just gonna spray that on my face and just fan my face dry. Now it's time to move on to lips. I'm taking this MAC Sis lipstick and I'm gonna put that all over my lips. As you can see, this lipstick is almost gone because I used to use this all the time back in the day. Then I'm gonna top it off with an Anastasia gloss. Just putting that on top just to make the nude look not so nude. You know what I mean? It just looked too nude, so I just put a gloss on top. Then I'm going in with my glow kit and just placing that bronze color in the inner corners of my eyes. I actually forgot to do this earlier, and that's just gonna make my eyes pop a little bit more. So that's the look with the nude lip. So now we're gonna go in with the red lip. I'm using the Fenty um, Stunna. Is that the name of it? I think so. The Stunna Lip Paint. And I'm gonna put that on my lips, and I love this red color. Um, it's just beautiful and I love how the red and the black looks together. It's just so classic. So that is the end of the tutorial guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.